Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. The story shocked the world. In 2002, Lacey Peterson, eight months pregnant, was found brutally murdered, and her husband Scott Peterson was the primary suspect. In 2004, Scott was convicted of murdering his wife and unborn son and sentenced to death. In the years since, he has maintained his innocence. Scott's death penalty sentence was overturned in 2020, though he has remained convicted of the crimes and has long sought a retrial. That's the last person you want to think had anything to do with the disappearance of your daughter. Her husband, Lacey's mother, Sharon Rocha, said in the 2017 ABC special Truth and Lies, the murder of Lacey Peterson. The person that was a member of your family, somebody that you loved and cared about, and thought he felt the same way about your daughter. And knowing how she felt about him, in 2022, Scott was denied a new trial. Everyone was so worried that they were going to have to go through the pain of a trial again, and no one wanted to deal with that, a friend of Lacey's family told our channel. Most recently, Scott's case was picked up by the Los Angeles Innocence Project a non-profit organization known for their work to exonerate wrongly convicted and incarcerated individuals. In January 2024, the organization told our channel in a statement that they now represent Scott and are investigating his claim of actual innocence. Two months later, Scott appeared in court via live stream video from the Mule Creek State Prison in Ione, California, where lawyers through the organization presented what they claimed was new evidence in the case. Under the non-profit's direction, Scott's case reached a breakthrough in May 2024 when a judge ruled that one piece of evidence from the initial investigation, a piece of duct tape found on Lacey's pants, could undergo DNA testing. In Scott's November 2023 letter to the court, he wrote that he sought a retrial because critical exculpatory evidence was ignored, overlooked, or never investigated at all, and in other instances was suppressed at the time of my trial, per Cron 4. Here's everything to know about Scott Peterson's crimes his life in prison and his attempts to prove his innocence from behind bars. Lacey Peterson disappeared on December 24, 2002, while on a walk with the family dog near her home in Modesto, California, about 90 miles east of San Francisco. At the time, she was 27 years old and 8 months pregnant with a baby boy the couple had decided to name Connor. Four months later, Lacey's and Connor's bodies were discovered washed ashore in the San Francisco Bay. Lacey had been decapitated and parts of her limbs were missing. Connor's fetal remains were discovered outside of his mother's body. Because their bodies were so badly decomposed, no specific cause of death could be determined. Suspicion fell on Scott, who claimed to be a grieving husband and father, though he had been actively having an affair with Amber Fry, whose testimony later helped to convict him. He said he went fishing alone in the San Francisco Bay on the morning of Christmas Eve. Detective Al Brocchini told our channel in 2005 that Scott's behavior in the days after Lacey's disappearance was a red flag. His major concerns were not Lacey, Brocchini said. His major concerns were his car door hitting his other car door in the driveway, or me taking a picture of this boat in his shop, or getting a receipt for the pink slipper and sunglasses the tracking dog people used for Lacey's scent. He was concerned about the wrong things on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. In the 2017 A.E. docuseries The Murder of Lacey Peterson, Detective John Bueller recalled that Scott had a strange reaction when he was told that Lacey's and Connor's bodies had been recovered. We told Scott. There was very little reaction on Scott's part, Bueller said. In my view, because he was the one who killed Lacey, there's no reason for him to have a lot of emotion because he knew what the results were going to be. Scott, however, recalled the moment differently in the A.E. docuseries claiming he had a really emotional, physical reaction to the news. He was arrested on April 18, 2003, just days after the bodies were found. Police found suspicious items in Scott's car. He had a gun, about $15,000 cash, three cell phones, camping gear, various medications and two driver's licenses. He had also dyed his hair blonde and was in his age.